Hello YouTube, just a quick one today. We've got David Off Cool Water. So this is a 75 mil bottle. It's a smaller bottle. Uh, everybody knows what cool water smells like, but this is a vintage bottle. So, um, and how you're gonna be able to tell that is by looking at the name, if it's written in all cursive, that's going to be a vintage bottle. I believe that is made by Lancaster. So everybody wants, you want, you want that one. But the problem is, is that you want one of those that's not spoiled. So a lot of um, cool waters go bad. And a lot of people, it was such a popular fragrance that a lot of people have mistreated a lot of bottles over a lot of time. So when you go and you're looking, sometimes you can't always tell, but when you see the bottle, if the juice inside, it should be fairly clear. If it has started to turn brown or yellow, it's going to stink. It's going to stink like turpentine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to smell really bad. And... Uh, a raunchy cool water because of the nature of cool water. So cool water is super fresh. The dihydromycinosal, I don't remember, what, but whatever that is, the <clears throat> the aquatic fresh powdery nature of cool water. When it goes bad, it is really bad. So like the it clashes horribly once it in but thankfully there's so much of it out there that it you know it's it's fine it the cap is a little bit thicker on the older versions uh the newer version just smells the same it's it does smell smell like cool water it just smells a little thinner and more synthetic uh which you think how is it going to smell more synthetic to cool water, which is a fully synthetic fragrance. But when you smell the old ones, you you can smell that it's a little thicker. Uh, and especially if you wore it back in the day, and you smell the old ones, you'll 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 be able to tell the difference. I don't mind the new one. Everybody beats on the new one, but it's just a played out scent. That's the problem. It's I I have less problem with the newest formulation than I do with the played outness of the scent. Anytime you people smell it, they're gonna know what it smells like and they're gonna know what it is and they're probably not gonna like it as much. It's not gonna really set you apart. It's not gonna do any of that stuff. If that's what you're looking for. If you're just looking for something that smells clean, it, you know, it does. And it smells good. So. Uh, you're gonna get more longevity from the old version. I, I still haven't found the long, I've worn it. And that's another thing, you get degradation when the, the, the older bottles, sometimes they'll last forever, and sometimes people will say, well, that's because the base notes haven't <clears throat> evaporated, and the tops have, so when you get a thicker balance, that's why it smells that way. And But you, you also will find some fragrances last shorter time because they, they've degraded and they don't, they don't, just don't have the lasting power that they used to. Uh, I found the lasting power on the old version to be acceptable, six hours. Uh, I usually have pretty good skin for that kind of stuff, so I, six hours is roughly where it's going to be. It's going to be a skin scent for at least four of that. And the newer version is a couple hours shorter, probably like a three-hour scent, which is what the a big knock on the newest one is, is that it's just pretty weak. Um, which I would almost take that if you're going to make it, at least it smells faithful, fairly faithful. If it's going to, if it's going to stink and not smell like it used to, or if you're, if you're going to change the scent, discontinue it. Or if you can't make it smell the same, discontinue it. If you can make it smell the same, but it's just going to last less time. I think that that is uh, legit. I mean, Ifra is, you know, comes after everything, so. Lancaster, cool water, leave it off.